Here, I'm going to try to make some locker, some lock washers for my bindings. I made this mold the other day for some wakeboard binding lock washers. And uh, I'm going to try to make some out of uh, high density polyethylene plastic. And uh, I'm also going to try to make some out of some aluminum. So we've got a kiln. I need to get a crucible for it. So just to turn it on, just point it towards that. Where's the on button? Some here. I'll see if we can get it. I'm going to try to pour it into these. What's that doing? So, these, this is, I made this out of plastic, and they're going to fit into these bindings. Right there. need to cut them though so they fit right but I'm gonna pour this aluminum in and see over here you want to video this one what's up bud Dang, it's actually sick. It just like goes and fits on right in there. Woo! Dude. That was really cool. See if that works. Look at that old guy. That's pretty neat. Science. That might work, dude. Yeah, these ones. We'll see, I need to use a skill saw to cut them. This one's kind of messed up. I did this out of plastic pretty cool right on look at this so this is like the this is probably still super hot but there's like in these cans there's really crappy I probably shouldn't be touching that there's like crappy grade and then just junk so all the junk I'm able to just clean out and then the, the better aluminum just kind of stays There's still some good aluminum in here. But there's like, when they make cans, I guess, they're, they're, I'm sure there's like, the uh, like the paint and crap they put on the cans. I'm sure that's all I can hear. And aluminum's awesome. Just like that. That's gonna be cool, dude. I'm excited for that to come out. No one? Doesn't look as as clean as the as the plastic. It may work. The kiddo's going crazy in there. I wonder if I could break this. Ooh. Let's, let's see. It's aluminum, so I assume it's a it's soft enough for me to maybe break. But it can't. Looks all right. It might work.
Here's one of my casts. Uh, I started to make some notches in it. It looks like I'm going to be able to get one, two, three, four, maybe five out of this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and install it and see if it works. So what I've done, i uh, just got a hacksaw and a drill. Nothing special. And what I'm going to do is just, uh, I've already started my, my drill um, holes. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill through this. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. We go find it. I saw it. Yeah, we better go find our little football. Let's go back. All right, let's go find the football. We'll be back. Next, we're gonna saw him. This is fitting now. Daddy. What's up, bud? I can't do this. We'll see. Hold on, wait, come here. Oh. Can you show me? Alright, show me. What do you got? Woo! It's pretty good. Pretty good. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna take my hacksaw and I'll just cut them. Do, 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 do. And then these ones already have the cut lines, so. Uh, I need to cut this plastic out too. We'll see how the plastic works before I bother undoing this one. So. Way too much work for these. I just got four of them, so two each. Um, sawing through these will be easy. So, yeah, I've still got plenty of pieces and parts, but I'm going to take these four and uh, see if they work. I might need to grind these down a little bit, uh, the plastic ones. Come on, focus. The plastic ones are substantially thicker than these. Uh... Uh, all in all, I think my the aluminum ones look better. They're cleaner. They're, I think they'll last longer. Uh, they are a little bit more difficult to work with once they're done. Pouring them the way that I did it was probably easier than what I did with the plastic. But I think you could probably just warm up the plastic and shove it into uh, shove it into like the mold that you wanted, like I could have here, and it would have been a lot easier. But this is the uh, the final look. Pretty happy about them. They went all right, and uh, they're not moving anywhere. So they're holding. That's exactly what I wanted. These things would have cost me about like 50 bucks for a, pair, a set of two, I think. So uh, instead of doing that, I made my own, and I don't know how much money I saved, but it was a good experience. <laughs>